Now in this video we look at the principle of superposition. Now there are two variations in the same principle. One is a problem like this and the other one is the problem like this. To mathematically solve the questions on the principle of superposition we must always use this formula that is the Hooke's law which is sigma is equal to e into epsilon. Now sigma we know is p by a and epsilon is delta l by l. We are most generally you know asked to find out the value of delta l in these kind of problems. So delta l can be written as p l upon a e. So this is the mathematical formula to find out the elongation or the contraction due to such an arrangement or such an arrangement. Now in this kind of a problem you have a stepped shaft okay or it can be a stepped bar you have different areas if you have a stepped shaft you have different diameters different diameters will produce different areas but the entire material or the entire body is you know acted upon by the same amount of loading on both sides the material is also the same so in this case the load is same and the material is same so p and e will be same this means p is acting on area a1 it is acting on area a2 and it is also acting on area a3 so elongation in this section plus the elongation in this section plus the elongation in this section would be the total elongation for the entire body so the elongation in section or i would say this is section 1 this is section 2 and this is section 3 elongation in section 1 is delta l1 elongation in 2 is delta l2 and elongation in 3 is delta l3 so what is delta l1 it will be p l1 upon a1 into e now p and e are same so i can take out p and e to be constant or common values this is equal to delta l okay so this becomes l1 upon a1 plus l2 upon a2 plus l3 upon a3 so this is how you apply the principle of superposition in such a scenario now a more challenging scenario occurs when you have a problem like this in such a case yes the young's modulus is same because it is a, a same material okay the diameter would be the same or the uh, cross section area would be the same okay that becomes easy but in this the load is not same and length is but obviously not same as well in this case first of all look at the equilibrium of the entire body you have a load of 100 newtons towards the left hand side you have a load of 30 on this section towards the right 50 on this section towards the right and 20 on that towards the right the equilibrium means the net left hand side force is equal to the net right hand side force. So you will have 100 is equal to 30 plus 50 which is 80 plus 20 which is equal to 100. So in both the, uh, in, in this case, the total force towards the left side is equal to the total force on the right side. So that is a very good thing to have. So first of all, check for, check for equilibrium so this is an equilibrium 100 is equal to 30 plus 50 plus 20 okay another variation that you can have you might not be given this force you might be only given p over here so this becomes an unknown force before you find out the net elongation or the net change in the length of this beam on this bar okay you have to find out p over here so to find out p you will say 100 is equal to 30 plus 50 plus p so p from here would be 20 so this is another variation that you can see in this kind of a question now the very first thing in such a question you should check this the second thing would be to create sections in equilibrium okay let's first of all take this section so this is a section of length 100 mm always consider the lower force so in this section you have this as 30 and this is 100 i will always take the lower force and apply 30 newtons over here 
to bring this section into equilibrium i will have to apply 30 over here as well on this particular section that is this left hand section okay i still have a surplus of 70 newtons okay now what will i do i will take i will take this section this entire section this and 50 so what will i do i will draw a figure below this now the length is 100 plus 80 so this becomes 180 mm okay again taking the lower force because from 100 i have already consumed 30 over here so now i only have 70 over here so still 70 is higher as compared to 50 so i'll apply the lower force which is 50 over here out of 70 i will apply 50 over here so now this section comes into equilibrium now still i have 20 surplus is that right and that 20 can be put into equilibrium with the last section so i'll increase the section length i'll take the entire case so this would be equal to this complete value so this length is 100 plus 80 plus 70 which is 250 so this is 250 mm this is 20 which came from this deficit or this surplus and this is also 20. So now you have three sections. In both these sections, equilibrium condition is existing. So this is section 1, this is section 2 and this is section 3. Alright, the area is already same. I will apply this equation to find out the net elongation or the total elongation. There might be a case where you will have one load acting in the compressive direction in that case you'll have a contraction in this case and the elongation in the rest of the two cases so you'll have delta l1 plus delta l2 minus delta l3 okay so this is how you solve these kind of questions by the application of principle of superposition now let's move on to the next topic and talk about thermal stresses